everybody, welcome back to 100% Marks. So, the news broke yesterday before we played Oxford United in the fourth round game at St James's Park that Newcastle United were once again delving into a massive takeover talk once again. Uh, and, you know, we're right back at it. Uh, this time it is the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, who is wanting to come in and buy Newcastle United. He's going to be the head of a consortium, uh, which he is going to be leading along uh, with Amanda Stavely and the Rubin brothers. Of course, the Rubin brothers are going to get a 10% stake in the club, uh, and Amanda Stavely and her husband is also going to get a 10% stake in the club with the rest of the percentage going to the Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin uh, Salman. Now, they have said that this has been going on for about four months secretly. Uh, the talking uh, with Mike Ashley, you know, and it's only been leaked yesterday by the Wall Street Journal, uh, the first to leak the story. And, you know, they have agreed on a price of 340 million by the sounds of it, uh, which is right around the price that Mike Ashley wants for the club. Uh, so, you know, it looks very promising, to be honest. And there's also been uh, a story put out the day by The Guardian, uh, Lewis Taylor uh, of The Guardian, in the, saying that uh, it's 90% chance of the deal going through for the takeover. But, of course, with the uh, takeover being leaked, Mike Ashley uh, isn't very happy with it being leaked. He isn't in the country at the moment neither, so uh, it's been rumoured that he's either in America or elsewhere. Uh, nobody's been able to get in touch with him uh, as of yet, uh, but it does look like the takeover could be going through. And hopefully, you know, in my opinion, the takeover is far enough along that... You know, Mike Ashley can't pull out because we've seen him do that in the summer. He pulled out on the deal with BZG. The paperwork was sent to the uh, Premier League and the FA, you know, and they didn't bother to do anything with it. And uh, to be honest, the reason they didn't do anything with the paperwork, they did receive it, but the reason they didn't do anything with it is because they were holding out and waiting for Mike Ashley to back out of the deal like he always does and you know he did exactly that and that's why uh, the BZG uh, didn't get a takeover at the club at the beginning of the season in that summer uh, win in that summer window you know is what we're trying to build uh, on that great work that Rafa Benitez had done with the club over the three years uh, but they are saying that you know, if the takeover does go through, that Steve Bruce apparently will keep his job. You know, I, I'll, I'm not the biggest fan of Steve Bruce. You know, uh, but I don't think he should be given the opportunity to have a big war chest. You know, yes, he's got Newcastle to a good position in the league. You know, we'll have 30 points uh, in that, but... I think we should maybe go for somebody like Rafa Benitez, get Rafa back in, you know, give him the chance because all the work at the moment that Steve Bruce has done at uh, Newcastle, you know, is all just what Rafa Benitez laid uh, there, you know, there was already the foundations laid, Steve Bruce has just walked in basically with an inherited team and just went on from where Rafa Benitez left off basically. Uh, it's kind of like Rafa Benitez left behind one of his tactic books and uh, Steve Bruce has somehow managed to find it and you know he's just going off the same tactics Newcastle's playing the same way defensively you know uh, we're lining up in the same way uh, but hopefully you know this takeover talk with uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia is 100% true you know and hopefully you know, we will be able to get that takeover because could you imagine, you know, what can happen with Newcastle United, you know, if we get that takeover. Uh, there has been rumours going around, you know, that his wealth is bigger than um, Manchester City. So, you know, uh, when uh, Sheik Monsieur took over Man City, he only had about 80 billion. 
uh, and the crown prince of Saudi Arabia has a 300 billion wealth and that is just his personal wealth you know that's not his actual uh, sovereign funded wealth which is what uh, he is wanting to use to buy Newcastle United so you know it's all positive talks hopefully uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below of course I don't want to get anybody's hopes up uh, because we have been here before and it has ended in misery uh, as we all seen uh, with that one with the BZG in the summer uh, but like I say, give us your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, remember, like, share, subscribe to 100% Marks, and I'll see you next time. How are the lads?